exciting today because today we're going to learn how to spool our reels, uh, spinning reels and bait casting, but we happen to have a tool here that's going to help us. So tell them, <laughs> tell them your name and, and tell them uh, what your product is and what it kind of does. Okay, uh, my name is Brandon Rogers with Sportsman Innovations and this is our fish on spooler, line spooling station. Uh, we started out with just a simple uh, spool holder uh -huh. and my brother and I, he, he mentioned, well, you know, we could put a line stripper on this. Right. Mount a, mount a motor to it and put a line stripper to it. And we started messing with that, messing with the design and came up with this and then when we started traveling to different tackle shops, uh -huh. we were seeing that, you know, how their, their spinning reel attachments right. were yep. spooling their spinning reels up without a line twist. Uh -huh. And we're like, well, we have the motor, we just need to figure out how to hold the spinning reel spool so we can, we can spool those up. And this is what we've come up with. And so kind of hit the, kind of hit the highlights, hit the three things that separate yours from other line winders. Uh, one, there, there's not another one like this on the market in the uh -huh. mid-range. You right. either have the really cheap ones, right? Uh, the Berkleys that are, you know, oh, yeah. Are, yeah. And, or you have uh -huh. the really expensive yep. versions of that, you know. And, and ours, we're, we're kind of in that mid-range uh, price range. We want to try to hit the, uh, the, the everyday fishermen. Right. That's kind of who we're, we're trying to target. And how about the shape? Was that, our year, was that your well, idea? Well, it, it was my idea. My brother wanted to just go with a square piece to keep from saving scratch. In case you, in case you missed that. And it's, we wanted to go with that, a little bit of a fish shape to it. Right. So let's, uh, we're going to get down to the business now of actually putting the line on. So uh, monofilament, um, braid. Braid, every fluoro, it, it doesn't matter. It'll hold okay. up to these bigger bulk spools. Okay. You know, all and the way from the little refill spools all the way up to the bigger bulk spools. Okay, well we're going to start with a bait caster and we're going to see how it works step to step to start to finish. Okay. Okay, when you get ready to take your line off, there's a two-part spool. Little hole that you run your line through in the spool. Slide your line through the hole. Take the other part and snap it shut. Okay, and you're ready to go. Now usually what I'll do is I'll start out slow until you get the hang of using this. This is variable speed. You can run this as fast or as slow as you want to run it, but it'll strip most of your bait cast reels in about a minute. Once you get it down to where you want it, we have a built-in line cutter. Cuts the line. Now the beauty part of this, most of the time when you're stripping your line off your bait cast reels, if you're doing it by hand, you're going to have a big mess. It's going to be a big pile of line. But the beauty part of this, when you get finished up, that's all you have left. When you're, you can easily recycle your used fishing line. The spool from the reel, we want to slide the line through our hole in our line stripper spool, put the cap on, and snap it shut. Slide the attachment in. And we're just going to strip this line. Now you can do this when this, this spool is on your fishing rod. It, it works the same. We already had this one off so I thought I'd just go ahead and, and strip this one with it off the reel. There went or not. Okay, now we're ready to put the line back on. We want to slide our spool up. Okay, 
put her other idler wheel on and set her tension. Now when we're when we're spooling a spinning reel, we're going to run it through our line guide here. And we want to run it through our spinning reel line guide. Right here, there's a little hole you slide the line through. And this is going to work back and forth as we spool the spool up. We'll get to that in just a minute. I'll tie this up and we'll, we'll start spooling. Okay, now for our spinning reel attachment, it's a little cam operated. As you twist that, those, those arms come out and they grab the inside of that spinning reel spool. And this will hold up to about a 40 series spinning reel. You just slide your spinning reel up. You want to slide it up all the way to the, to the red cam plate and twist that. Get it that as tight as you can get it. And then you're ready to spool up. Now before you start, always make sure you have this line guide out even where the line is on your spinning reel. If not, it's just going to wrap it around your spinning reel spool. I learned that one the hard way. Once you get that ready, you're ready to go. Again, you want to start out slow until you get the hang of it. But you just move your line guide back and forth so you can get a good even feel on your spool. And again, you can run this as fast or as slow as you want to run that in a variable speed mode. Once you get it full, take that off, use your line cutter, and I don't know if you're going to be able to see this very well, but there shouldn't be any line twist in that. There's no line twist in that. That's just the memory from the line. So one thing that we haven't talked about yet, and that's the benefits of using the fish on spooler. First of all, it's quicker. It's easier. And as you can see, you got your line all in one space, easier to throw away. And tell us, uh, tell us about line twist with it, because that's one thing that I, you may not have had a lot of questions on, but that's a question I have. That's been a, that's been a huge issue ever since I uh -huh. have started fishing and using a spinning reel. Right. I've never been able to put line on a spinning reel right. without getting it all twisted up. And this takes care of that. It's, you know, your, your big commercial units, uh, they take the spool off and it's direct right. onto the spool uh -huh. you know and we thought when we were when we started that we were going to have a little bit of line twist because we're coming around and making a 90 degree bend right but in reality it's it's still coming directly off the spool and directly onto the spinning reel spool and it's mm -hmm. it completely eliminates the line twist when you're spooling your spinning reels up Tell us what is it made out of? Because there's other products, there's line spoolers, but but they're not made sometimes with the same quality as what you're looking at. Well, we, we machine everything out of aluminum, stainless steel, and Delrin materials. Mm -hmm. uh, our base plates, all your, your, your colored plates here are, are all aluminum pieces, and all the silver pieces are your stainless steel. And then we have a Delrin piece here, and then mm -hmm. Delrin pieces here. Uh, the, the materials we, we try to we try to find the, the, the best materials that we can find them to make them out of. We want to build our product to, to hold up and last. So if someone wanted to get one of these, where would they go and uh, what's your website? Uh, you can get them on our website at sportsmaninnovations.com. Okay. And uh, th there's a few retailers that are carrying them now where we're just now getting that started up. And we'll have a list of the places you can get them. There you have it. Brandon has all the insights on your spooling, your real technology. It's a great thing. It's going to help you speed up. It's going to save you some money. It's going to make it easier. And uh, no longer will your wife have to sit there with a <laughs> pencil in between her toes holding the spool as you reel it off. Good stuff happening. Make sure you check out their website.